Okay, here's a quick preview to what you're going to be making in this challenge. We have a little guy here that's already set to move, some enemies that are set to just bounce around there, and here's what we want you to do. When the player hits the T key, one of these has just become a randomly selected target for the missile. So I just hit the T key. I don't know which one it is. Uh, if you want to, in the next challenge, we'll ask you to draw a circle around it. But right now, all I know is it's one of them. Now when I hit the space bar, that missile has just been given that selected one. And uh, that's the target. And so the missile follows it. Now if I hit the space bar again, nothing happens because that target I selected is gone. And if that target's not there, missile won't bother firing towards it. But of course I can hit T again. It picks a target. And this time I fire two missiles. And did you see what happened? If I fire some missiles, and when it's destroyed by the first missile, the next missiles will pick the nearest enemy, if enemies exist, as their new targets. And if there's no enemies at all on the screen, like you saw there, then the missiles just self-destruct themselves. So that's sort of the gist of this thing here. It's a basic version of a guided missile. Uh, the missiles, of course, look a little funny. We'll fix them another time. But the idea of using the IDs. Okay, so that's what you're trying to make. Go peek at the instructions if you need to. And uh, it'll sort of guide you through the different steps of making it. It's a little bit longer, but it's a great one okay, to work with these instance IDs.